Hello, today you join us in the Lake District. We're back again, as the gang. And we pretty much plan to just try and walk some things and take some nice landscape photos. Cumbria album 2018. That was my first roll. Pretty How many shots are you into? Six. How much? Quality, not quantity. Let's remember that. Remember that, ladies and gents. Are you telling me you don't put your film in your mouth? I've seen that probably. Stumps! Look at his face, look how happy he is! <laughs> I guess the plan for today is to just go on a nice hike. Um, we picked this relatively short hike that has a lot of exciting things. I think one of the things that I find hard when you're going on a big hike is that I tend to take a lot of photos of the same thing just from a slightly different angle. So hopefully today we're going to hit up a few different things. Uh, we like the idea of going to a quarry, uh, since we're in the lake district, actually hitting up some lakes, and uh, yeah, just having a good time. Uh, I think one of the things about landscape photography for me isn't what some people like of that extremely technical stuff. For me it's more about going outside and having fun and the photography is a side part to the having fun and uh, not the other way around. So um, today I'm shooting my Mamiya 7 and uh, traveling lighter than last time and I'm shooting some Provia 100F at the moment uh, which just felt right because it's something that I don't always get the opportunity to do so I thought why not. What are you shooting? Um, same thing as last time, Pentax X7 with the 90mm lens. I have the 50 uh, in my backpack in case I need the wide. And more film? Uh, Portrait 800. Ooh. Uh, yeah, George is taking the piss out of me for you shooting 800 during the day. But the reason why I shoot 800 with the 6.7 is because the 6.7 is famous for having like quite an intrusive shutter slap. So I prefer to have like a high shutter speed. So I'd, I prefer to be shooting like 250, 500 just to minimize as much of the shutter slap as possible. So we just reached the, I guess the first summit. It's not really a mountain, is it? Is this a mountain? No. Well, the people in the comments of the last video were like, that's not a mountain. Well, yeah, much more clambersome than uh, the other one. It was good fun. Uh, it's a very slaty floor. Clambersome? Are you laughing at that? Like engineeringly, is that a word? <laughs> Says the man who said engineeringly. All I know is we're having a good time. <laughs> we just reached the first peak. Um, who knows what the adventure has more to offer. Hello. You're going to watch me struggle loading the 6.7. I hate loading the 6.7. It's so much harder to load than the Mimir. Why? I th it's this like the slotting of the roll in is a lot more tricky. A lot more faffing around. I was trying, I was trying to load. Why are you 
shooting crew for 108 then. Well, so a lot of the cool scenes I think we've seen so far have been very dynamic lighting. There's this weird cloud situation going on where you get kind of light rays and beams kind of shooting down. And because slide film, uh, the uh, Pro VR shooting is slide film, it has much less dynamic range than a, a normal color film. So I'm a bit concerned that the really dynamic lighting might not be portrayed as well as uh, with a normal color film. So Pro 400H would be good for this. Uh, also captures greens really nicely and um, I feel like this that would do this place justice. There is however this really nice kind of like earthy brown I don't know what this is called. What what is this stuff, Charlie? Like all of this Fun? stuff. Bracken. Like I feel I feel like that could be a quite a portrait thing. Don't you think? Yeah I get I mean like um okay, I, guess I guess like for me whenever I've shot uh, Pro 400 H uh like the British landscape is more kind of inclined for that because I, I don't like to shoot against like the color scheme so some people like to shoot like if there's uh, a blue scene they should like to shoot portrait to kind of counteract that uh, I like to complement it so Britain is pretty good for profile image because it's got nice nice blues and greens so. so we just got to I believe it's a quarry. I mean, it doesn't really look like a quarry. Um, okay, so we just got to a cave before a quarry. And it's really cool, um, but unfortunately, I don't think there's really a good photo of this place. Um, but it's nice. I keep getting rained on. But uh, yeah, it's just noteworthy saying. Um, sometimes your eyes are the best camera. <laughs> Wow, is that a floating head walking towards us? Oh, maybe not. Think you got any good shots on that walk, George? Yeah. 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 I mean, like, this isn't the kind of photography that I love, anyway. So I think I'm never going to be the most happy with this kind of photo. But, um... I like giving it a go to, um, it's like an exercise, I guess. It's like every once in a while, why not take a, a few still life photos or a few landscapes? It's good to be broad. It's good to push yourself in ways that you're not comfortable with. So what you're saying is landscape could be shit. Not explicitly. <laughs> it's just not for me. One of the most important things about hiking is uh, staying well nourished, your sustenance. The hanger can get in pretty quick, so. My favorite, Waitrose, crunchy indulgent mini chocolate millionaire bites. This is like crack, this stuff on top. Mm. Oh yeah, there's one you already like. What are we doing? Sitting in a cafe, not doing much really. Oh, Making really? the most of it, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> don't, have, don't really know where to go, do we? What to do? Yeah. So well, so well planned. Yeah. The thing is, yeah. we went there with a single idea, right? You knew what you wanted to do, and then the thing in addition to that, any like bean related activities were a bonus. Yeah. I guess, yeah. We didn't really have any plan. We more had time and just tried to stuff the time with a place rather than a plan. Um, the basis of this trip was lads, lads, lads. <laughs> I mean, it's a very not lads trip, isn't it? By our standards. What about this is a lads trip? Well, take a, take a look at yourself. But, uh, yeah, yeah, we spent a lot of time looking at clothes and like thinking about what, what, what speciality roast of coffee they might have. But by our standards, this is a lads trip. We did go to a gun shop. We did, <laughs> we did. Uh, so we just picked up a hitchhiker. Well, I mean, I say we. It's all Charlie's fault. Um, <laughs> That's pretty exciting, I've never done that before. Um, how would you rate the experience, guys? I'd say like a 7 out of 10. Yeah. It seemed like a friendly guy. Yeah. Didn't murder us. <laughs> I didn't get groped. Nothing like that happened. I'd give it a 5 6. It's just a completely average, cordial, pleasant, you know. 
Just didn't really get anything out of it. <laughs> you got everything. <laughs> what did we get? <laughs> Well, well, well. What where, do we got here? Where do we find ourselves? A lake. In the Lake District? <laughs> no way. I mean, this is pretty much the first lake we've actually been close enough to take a photo of. That's we've true. been here for 18 hours. I think I just took probably the better photo that I have so far of this like S curve. Um, this time I actually was an S curve. Um, it's really moody lighting now, and I'm not sure if that's something that what I'm shooting will do justice. But um, I guess with something like this, you just got to work with what you're given. <laughs> 